This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for July 26. As we celebrate the Feast of Saint Anne's Day, tradition holds that Saint Anne is the mother of the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. There is no mention of Anne in the Bible. Non-biblical books from the early Christian centuries acknowledge Mary's parents as Joachim and Anne. These sources claim that Joachim and Anne were childless for many years of their marriage. The angel Gabriel appeared to them separately and declared that they would in fact bear a child who must be dedicated to God. Hence, Anne became the mother of our Blessed Virgin Mary. Made universal by Pope Gregory XIII, the Church celebrates her feast day along with Joachim, on July 26. Saint Anne, Hebrew for Hannah, meaning, Grace, eventually became the patron saint of married women and childless couples. Artistic representations show St. Anne with her child Mary on her lap holding Christ Jesus. As the woman chosen by God to be the mother of his son, the Virgin Mary is known around the world as a good, holy, and exceptional woman. Certainly she must have had extraordinary parents whose example of faith and trust in the Lord impacted her in a way that would change the course of history forever. These parents, named Joachim and Anne, have been honored throughout the ages for their dedication to raising the daughter, Mary, to be a woman fully devoted to God. There is very little known about the parents of the Virgin Mary. Saint Anne and Saint Joachim are not mentioned in the canonical Gospels. However, their story has been told in a document known as the Gospel of James. This document is not to be read for its historical or factual accuracy, nor is it the inspired word of God. Yet, the legend included in this document that tells of Saint Anne and Saint Joachim is the first mention of Mary's parents and has been a catalyst for Christians to honor and celebrate Mary's parents. Whether the names and dates in the Gospel of James about Saint Anne and Saint Joachim are correct or not is unimportant, for instead, we should look to the truth that we do know, that the Virgin Mary was born of a man and woman who raised her in a way that brought glory to God. Depicted as a seated woman with a book upon her lap and the child Mary leaning against her, eager to learn. This image tells us what we know of Saint Anne, as well as the reason Saint Anne is honored to this day. St. Anne had a unique position in which God entrusted to her the task of bringing up Our Lady in a holy and virtuous way. While teaching Mary to cook, take care of her home, and look after her family and neighbors, St. Anne modeled for the Virgin Mary a life of prayer, love, and humility. In doing so, St. Anne prepared Our Lady to receive our Lord not only into her heart, but into her very body, becoming the Mother of God. On December 8, Catholics celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. This teaching has been a belief held by Catholics for ages, however, it became official dogma in 1854 by Pope Pius XI. On this day, Catholics recognize that the Virgin Mary was conceived in the womb of Saint Anne free from original sin. This prepared her as a pure and holy vessel to become the Mother of God. Information about Saint Anne's death has been lost to history. She has been honored as a saint from the days of early Christianity, and her relics have been the cause for pilgrimage in several countries. They were brought to Constantinople in 710 and remained there until 1330, when they were relocated to several places, including Apt, Ghent, Provence, and Chartres. In 1506, Pope Julius II declared that St. Anne's relics would stay in Durham, Germany. Also, there are small relics that are located at various churches and monasteries throughout the world that have placed themselves under her patronage. St. Anne is the patron saint of unmarried women, housewives, women in labor, grandmothers, childless people, equestrians, lacemakers, miners, the poor, and seamstresses. The most well-known patronage of St. Anne is that of grandmothers.
Certainly as the mother of the Virgin Mary and the grandmother of Jesus Christ, St. Anne was a woman of great virtue and love. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.